Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with creating profiles automatically using Django Signal. And all you need to do is create an account with our platform and we're going to automatically create a profile for them without letting them create a profile themselves. So make sure to drop a like on this video if you want to see more of it and also consider subscribing as it would really mean the world to me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you take a close look over here, then you're going to see that I provided the code already for you guys. Now, it's a very easy code. First thing that we need to do is import this at the top. So I'm going to copy that and hop over to our code models, py, user odds. Then I need to paste this at the top. As you can see, it's from django.db.models.signals. We simply imported post save, as simple as that. Now, the next thing that we simply need to do is go ahead and create a simple function, create user profile. You can call that whatever you want. It's going to take in three arguments or rather four sender, instance, created, and quarks. So we simply need to say define create user profile. It's going to take in sender gonna take an instance it's gonna take in created and it's also gonna take in quacks which is keyword argument so ax quacks um actually we just wanted to take in quacks all alone then over here we simply ended off okay so now I, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and check if a, a user is created so as you can see this is creating a user so if a user is created that means they signed up right they want to go ahead and create a profile for them as simple as that so how do we do that? We're simply going to say if created, which is this one that we passed in here. OK, so let's say you call this bananas. Then you, need, you simply need to say if bananas. OK, so if created, then what do we want to do? We want to go ahead and create a, a profile for the user. So we're going to say profile dot objects dot create. And what do we want to say? User should be equal to what instance. OK, as you can see, that's what we did over here. So instance is pretty much the you know the instance of the user that created a profile what that means is if you come over to this profile you're gonna see that there is this user instance over here so we simply created a profile with the name user or whoever user that logged in hopefully you guys understand what i'm trying to explain if you don't understand drop a comment in the comment section and i'll write a simple um comments to help explain it better that's if you don't understand okay so now that we've done that we also need to go ahead and save the profile so we could create a new function now and call it save user profile you can call that whatever you want this one is going to take in all the parameters apart from created so over here i'm just going to say the create save user profile save underscore user underscore profile just like this it's going to take in sender it's going to take an instance and um, it's going to take in this supposed to be instance i want to make sure that that's what i passed in and over here it's still supposed to take in keyword arguments okay so star star keyword arguments or asterisk you call it whatever you want so now we need to go ahead and save the profile we're gonna say instance which is what we passed over there instance dot profile dot save profile dot save as simple as that we save the instance that means we save the 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 profile or the user that was just created recently okay now finally we need to go ahead and save all this so we need to save and how does this work post.save is what we imported at the top now we want to simply connect the create user profile over here to a sender and what the sender will pass in here then we assign it to the user model as simple as that then we also went ahead and saved it so this line creates the user this line saves the user or we could just say it's kind of like connects okay it connects this this function that we created over here to this and it saves it and it connects this one and it also saves it so hopefully you guys understand i know if this is your first time it might sound like gibberish to you and you'd be finding it difficult to understand but just take your time the more you practice with it, the more you're going to understand what it does okay so now let's go ahead and refresh this page i'm, I'm going to get back here and I'll, i'm simply going to refresh this page that's great now let's go ahead and log out so i'm going to log out and let's go ahead and create a new profile so we need to go ahead and um get to uh, yeah this is it over here create an account so we need to create an account right now and it says we need to log in before accessing wish list come on are we trying to access the wish list we need to fix that error okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill this in so a new user is trying to create an account now if you take a close look at the profile over here you can see that we have just one profile okay so if we get back here and submit our register let's see so it loads up it loads up and i think it's created an account it says hey your account was created successfully now let's get back here and refresh and um for that we need to log in with our admin to see if a new account was created and what do you notice seems like a new account was created so we could open this up and um okay it says it's returned the type none that's great because 
we if we didn't actually see that error now we're gonna have a problem in the future so what we need to do is hop over to the models user auth and instead of just passing and return self the full name which a user that was created automatically won't have we need to go ahead and use a try catch so we need to use try okay um I'm, I'm just gonna get down here and i'm gonna say try then try this then if this doesn't exist go ahead and and say something like return self dot username okay so hopefully you understand so not that's not supposed to be x else but except okay so i think this should fix the error so try putting the in the full name if it doesn't exist then you go ahead and use the username okay so let's refresh this now okay that, there's still a problem over there um let's see let's see it says underscore returned non string type non type um okay okay yeah yeah that's a problem this was with self dot user dot username uh oh i'm doing this in the contacts this is not what i'm this is no way i'm supposed to do it let's get back hopefully you guys saw that before me so there's no way we are supposed to do that we are supposed to do it in the profile this one over here so we need to just paste that in okay now that's pretty much it so let's make sure that the code looks great i'm gonna unindent that now this should fix the error so if we get back here and refresh now okay the error still persists let's see um i think this one should be something else let's get back to the admin page and i'm gonna get back here and let's get back to the profile okay we got we got all this now you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get rid of all this and i'm simply gonna say return self dot user okay let's just say return self the user for now and let's refresh this okay i think i know why the, the why the error is coming up yeah i know why the error is coming up it's because in the admin remember this thing that we have over here for the profile admin for now let's just comment this out or we could even just put in the user over here okay so we could say user um user then add a comma let's see if that still keeps showing an error then we comment it out and see what the problem is okay so let's refresh this we can, as you can see we got this now let's open it up okay we still get this error let's see what the error is it says on the str return non type user hmm. you know what i'm gonna comment this out for now and let's get rid of this profile admin and um let's get back to the model user or this one i'm gonna say user dot username you can see we got a user over here we simply change it to username so let's try it out one more time okay what do you notice it's working perfectly well okay i think that's pretty much it let's get back here as you can see we got this and we got destiny okay so one more thing that you could even do is go ahead if you don't want to display like that you you know you want to also have your your all your you know your words you could use an formatted string and you could do something like this you know you could paste it in here then in here you could also do something like this also then you could say app dot foo underscore name you could do something like this just want to show you guys that there's there's a lot of things that you could do you could say self dot bio and it's totally up to you whatever you want to do just play around with it okay so now let's get back here and refresh now what do you notice we got all this so we can open this up and add up something for this user that is pretty cool now this user created an account i want to go ahead and create a new account then visit my dashboard with with the new account that i created okay so i'm gonna hop over to the create here we need to see what the problem is with the wish list later we're gonna check that so we fill this in we're creating an account for some persons that i don't know how to pronounce their name so it's creating an account for them now let's try visiting their dashboard so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna try visiting the account. And um, yeah, this is the nice error that I wanted to get. This error over here. So let's head back to the to the dashboard page. And we, firstly, we need to check if we're gonna say if user dot image. So if there is actually an image, then go ahead and upload it and show up the image. Else, don't show any image at all. Just show a dummy image. So if user profile dot image, then show this image. Else. We want to show another image so we're going to say and if now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this and I'm, I'm going to paste it down here and i need to look for a default profile image and there's this one i really love using i'm going to grab this one over here and uh, it's taken a little bit of time you know we could just copy the image address 
and paste it in here okay so we paste it in there now let's get back here and see if we still get in the error the error is gone that's looking great so as you can see name is none bio is none phone is none as you can see this this is everything that we got over here and um we could go ahead and edit the profile and i think that's what we should be doing in the next video for now this is all we've done so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new and in the next video we're gonna go ahead and start editing the video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and also you want to get a template to follow along the tutorial check out the link in the description below they should point you to the right direction to get a template and until the next video my love peace out